this uh, meeting of the City Council to order. I'd like to ask Councilman Bullock if he would pray over the session. Please stand. people who are doing everything that they know what to do and how to do and when. And it doesn't seem to work, but we pray. Each day we pray that the goodness that goes with you will visit us soon. We ask your blessings today on every person We pray for all of our people, friends, neighbors, community, families, and all the all the all. We seek your presence in our lives, Lord God. Be with us. Guide us, lead us, that we might God and lead and work with others. We're not doing everything right. But it's there. And you have raised us to follow you, Lord. So we come to you this evening asking your forgiveness for all the things that we have done that have not been successful and not rewarded others. As I said earlier, it's a difficult time. Perilous time. to watch over us, keep us in your care, continue to bless us, and we look at all that we do, O God, and we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, uh, roll call my uh, clerk. Council Member Nye. Here. to our agenda. agenda. We're going into closed session to discuss an economic development matter uh, once representatives from Gateways Partnership uh, arrive. Uh, but until then, I guess we'll go to uh, item number four, which is the approval of the minutes of the regular scheduled meeting the City Council held on February 24th, 2020. Recommended action is to approve the minutes. Do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. So moved. moved by Dodger, second by Blackwell. Second. <laughs> I think we have a vote in a second. <laughs> Is there any need for discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. I have a question. Yes, sir. I'll amend the agenda to accept this new item, action item. Is that correct? Of the memorandum, is what you're speaking to? Uh, no, the, the memo is really for your uh, information. I also emailed it to you, but it's um, in response to a request from uh, Councilmember Dartridge. The amendment to the agenda is specifically related to a closed session uh, to discuss an economic development initiative. Okay, thank you. Information on it, okay. Uh, with that said, item five, uh, city manager, uh, community update. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and members of council. Uh, first, uh, we do know that all commission and board meetings have been canceled in a 
addition to neighborhood meetings, the Citizen Academy, and the Rocky Mount Area Youth Council meetings are canceled. Program meetings such as yoga in the galleries and our arts programs are also canceled. The City Council retreat originally scheduled for later this week and the Minority and Women Business Enterprise Workshop scheduled for April 3rd have been postponed. Per the Council's directions, there is now a moratorium on all utility disconnections until further notice, and late fees will not be assessed during this time. If you are struggling and need help for your bill, with your bill, please contact the Business Services Center at 252-972-1250. During this time, it is important you remember to fill out and send in your 2020 census form. By now, you should have received your form in the mail. The census will determine funding for housing programs, schools, hospitals, economic development, and much more. You can respond online, by phone, or by mail. And for more information or to respond, visit 2020census.gov. And I believe that time for turning in your form has been extended by 15 days, I think it is. The Communications, Marketing, and Public Relations Office has released the latest edition of My Rocky Mount Magazine. All public utility customers were mailed the magazine over the weekend. The magazine looks back at highlights from our city in 2019, as well as initiatives, news, and schedules for 2020. My Rocky Mount was recognized last year for excellence at the North Carolina City and County Communicators Conference, winning first place for publications. The deadline is approaching for the first installment of the City Manager's Awards Program which recognizes employees as selling and exemplifying the city's core values. We appreciate those who have already submitted nominations. If you haven't done so already, you have until March 31 to get it done. Forms are available online at rockymountnc.gov. And if you have questions, please contact Jesse Nunnery at 252-972-1268. We have uh, received some information concerning North Carolina Executive Order number 120 for March 23rd. And this is an order that is coming down from uh, Governor Roy Cooper. The order consists of the prohibition of mass gatherings is now moved to be more than 50 persons. The following entertainment facilities are ordered to close at 5 p.m on Wednesday, March 25th, 2020, though any retail or dining component, component may operate within that establishment solely for that purpose. And those facilities are bingo parlors, bowling alleys, ice skating rinks, indoor exercise facilities such as gyms, yoga studios, and martial art facilities, health clubs, indoor pools, live performance venues, movie theaters, roller skating rinks, spas, sweet state lounges, video game arcades. Personal care and grooming businesses, including but not limited to the following, are also ordered to close. Barber shops, beauty salons, hair, hair salons, manicure slash pedicure providers, massage parlors, nail salons, tattoo parlors. Appropriate local governmental agencies are directed to continue to exercise their responsibilities, including but not limited to local county Department of Social Services, offices, registers of deeds, and other local government functions that are required to protect people. Long-term care facilities shall restrict visitation of all visitors and non-essential health care personnel except for certain compassionate care situations, for example, an end-of-life situation. For this purpose, for purposes of this executive order only, long-term care facilities include all of the following. Skilled nursing facilities, 
adult care homes, family care homes, mental health group homes, and intermediate care facilities for individuals with intellectual disabilities. Public school closures are extended until at least May 15, 2020, and this order will be effective at 5 p.m. Wednesday, March 25, 2020. Then finally, I would like to remind everyone the City of Rocky Mount is working to ensure you continue to receive excellent municipal services during this coronavirus pandemic. For the latest city updates, you can visit rockymountnc.gov or access our various social media platforms. Also, I encourage you to follow all the safety measures recommended by the CDC. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Montoni. At this time, we'll hear our petitions from the public. This is the time to remind you that these comments should not be personal in nature, not directed to any individual council member, but rather to the committee as a whole. The committee may or may not choose to respond. And we ask that you keep all commentary civil. I'd like to ask you to come to the podium. Please identify yourself and your address. Johnny Cunningham. Johnny Cunningham, 540 Maryville Street, Rocky Mount. Citizens, staff, council. I need the city of Rocky Mount and this council to defend me because I'm fighting all that I have financially, spiritually, emotionally, this racism in this city. I've experienced it. I'm 59 years old. Never did really understand or felt the real impact of being discriminated against as a black man in Rocky Mountain. I've been to other places, never experienced it. But here, the treatment that I've been, that I've received from white nonprofit, so called Christian organizations, is appalling. I've had to defend myself in the court of law in Nash County. And the treatment that I received in Nash County, the NAACP, and carried to the Supreme Court, and we in hands down. The system there and the treatment that I received was racist. I was discriminated against. They had judges that didn't even want to hear the case because Love Rocky Mountain and that group filed fictitious complaints against me trying to silence me for exposing this racist behavior that's occurring in our city and is destroying, especially Ward 3. We can't make a move. We make a move one step forward and we push back 10 steps because of jealousy and hatred, because we refuse to allow our community and our children to be exploited with these entities from Nash County these white entities coming in and exploiting the donations, uh, beguiling those that, that willingly, from their hearts, that want to uh, 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 donate to the causes and the programs that we're implementing for our children. But they have the upper hand. They are the friends of the friends of those that donate. They have, they have the influence over us. But the donations are not being distributed in the neighborhoods, especially Ward 3, with suffering. I petition this council to really put your foot down and help us that's really being slaughtered by the racist nature in this city. Now, what we're looking at today, and when you look at what God has always done throughout history, Thank you, Mr. I hope you've got our, our attention. We've got to make Thank a change, you, a drastic change. Are there any other petitions? Okay. Anybody from the Gateway Partnership here? Out in the lobby room?
Okay, we'll go to item 7 here, which is a consent agenda. Uh, a is consideration of the following tax releases and or refunds. Schedule A is the report of taxes under $100 approved for release and or refund by the city manager. Schedule B is the report of taxes over $100 recommended for release and for refund by the city council. And B is consideration of recommendation from chief of police to declare surplus and retire K-9 police dog Harry and award K-9 Harry to Corporal William Whitley in accordance with provisions of the North Carolina General Statute 160A. 266C. Recommended action, recommended action is to approve the consent agenda. Second. second first by uh, Knight, second by uh, Joyner. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed by like sign. Do we want to introduce uh, Harry since he's in the, uh, in the council chamber? This is K-9 Harry. He has been with the city for a little over seven years. He is a long-haired German Shepherd. Originally came to us from Czechoslovakia. Uh, he is a, or he was a full patrol dog. He did pretty much anything, everything we needed him to do. Um, he looks a lot bigger than he actually is. Most of us all hair. <laughs> <laughs> but he is a. He's been a good partner. Uh, he's ready for a slower-paced life. Okay, thank you. Uh, item 8 is consideration of ordinance ordering the community code inspector to proceed with demolition of the following dilapidated dwellings. That is A502 Clyde Street, 1229 Hill Street, 1014 Arlington Street, and 811 Clark Street. Uh, this was deferred from our February 24th meeting, and the recommended action is to adopt the ordinance. Do I have a motion? Someone. Okay. Um, so moved by uh, Councilman Blackwell, seconded by Councilman Joyner. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed, like sign. Item 9 is the consideration of sale of 1, uh, 1110 Sycamore Street to Olco Corral to a bid of $3,000 advertised for upset bids and none were received. Recommended action is to adopt the resolution and accept the offer to purchase property. Move. Move by Knight, second by Blackwell. Is there any discussion? Do we ever ask for any criteria on here, Madam Manager, such as you know, um, fixing it up or making sure it's, you know, it improves the neighborhood, or, or is that not even possible? Well, actually, in this case, this is someone who purchased. Um, a house adjacent to the property that she's wanting to purchase now. Okay. So, okay. so it would be an improvement. Thank you. I, I didn't realize that. Any additional comments, conversation, questions? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Motion passes. Item 10 is consideration of the following recommendation from the traffic engineer, and that is to adopt. 55 mile an hour speed limit on Red Oak Battle Royal Road, which is State Road 1524, between 0.713 miles west of North Carolina 4 and 1.036 miles west of North Carolina 4. B, 55 mile an hour speed limit on Red Oak Battle Royal Road, State Road 1524, between US 301 and 0.027 miles west of US 301. And C, is that to adopt 45 mile per hour speed limit on the Red Oak Battleboro Road, which is State Road of 1524, between the Edgecombe County Line and US 01. Recommended action is to adopt the ordinance amending the traffic control ordinance map. So moved, so moved by Councilman Joyner. Second. Second. Second by Blackwell. Is there any discussion? Yes. Councilman Bullock. Uh, I don't see it in here, but I'm sure it's already been taken care of. But I'm is this in compliance with uh, all, anything else along the especially tra additional traffic that may be generated by the business, uh, CSX, and other things that are in the process? 
City Manager, can you speak to that or perhaps like the staff? Sure. Um, actually, this is a action to correct um, an ordinance. The uh, speed limit signs are already posted there and have been. So this is just a cleanup mechanism uh, to make sure that what we have on the ground is consistent with what is in the ordinance. I, don't, I, I hope that helps to address that. So this is not in any way change to the speed limit? No, ma'am. It's already posted. You're not changing the speed limits that are allowed in legal or law, is that correct? That is correct. The speed limits are 55, 55, and then 45 in those designated areas. And posted as such. Any additional comments or questions? Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Is there uh, all in favor? Please say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Like sign. Motion carries. Item 11 is consideration of mutual aid agreement with members of the uh, American Public Gas Association for emergency assistance in the event of a national disaster. Recommended action is to approve agreement and authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute the same on behalf of the city. Is there a motion? So move by Councilman Bullock. Is there a second? Second. Second by Joyner. Uh, is there any need for discussion? Questions? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, by like sign. Okay, item 12 is consideration of declaring certain personal property surplus and authorizing disposal by the electronic auction via <laughs> Gov, Gov Deals Inc. Recommended action is to adopt the resolution declaring property surplus and authorizing disposal by electronic auction. So moved. Moved by Blackwell, second by Walker. Any discussion? Miller. Miller, I'm sorry. Second by Miller. <coughs> Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by like sign. Motion carries. Item 13 is consideration of the following bids. <coughs> A, Sunset Avenue Transportation Corridor Studies to award to Santa Services, Inc. a total cost of $114,938. North Carolina Department of Transportation will reimburse the city 80% of the study cost. Study area is Sunset Avenue from Buck Leonard Boulevard to Halifax Road. B, one new Elgin Crosswind Regenerative Air Street Sweeper based on bid awarded by Sourcewell Group Purchasing Program Formerly National Joint Powers Alliance, contract number 122017, FSC, sewer vacuum, hydro excavation, and street sweeper equipment with related accessories and supplies. Award to the Public Works Equipment and Supply Company, Inc., at a total cost of $249,894. And C, workstation and office furniture, award to Institutional Interiors, Inc., at $151,584.66, development services, and $27,649.11 to the community and business development for a total cost of $179,233.77. Purchase through the North Carolina Division of Purchase and Contact Group Purchasing Program, contract number 420A, in accordance with North Carolina General Statute, 143-129 E3 Group Purchasing Programs. Recommended actions are to award the bids as recommended to authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute bid contract for A on behalf of the city, and three, authorize the purchasing division to issue purchase orders and execute bid documents for B and C in accordance with the council's award. Is there a motion? So moved. So moved by Daltridge. Second by uh, Walker. Is there any discussion? I've got a question. All right, question. Um, Madam Manager, on the uh, Sunset Avenue Transportation Study, will there be an opportunity for the public to participate in that? Or will there be any public meetings or, or anything? Yes, that's um, standard for the process, and since that is a very heavy uh, business quarter, certain of the businesses along there will have an opportunity to speak. I agree wholeheartedly and, and appreciate that. Any other questions, comments? All in favor, please say aye. 
Aye. Opposed? Aye. Like sign? Motion carries. Item 14 is consideration of selection of development partner for the Tarboro Street Housing Project, development of between 50 and 60 housing units. Selection of the Wood of Cooper Companies as recommended. Recommended action is to store project as recommended. So moved. Moved by Blackwell, second by Knight. Was it? Any discussion? Yes, I, I've got some concerns with this, especially in light of the, what we're going through right now with the COVID-19. Um, we all know that the revenues are going to be decreased in, in this city, just like just this uh, in the last seven days, we had over 113,000 people in North Carolina file for unemployment. Um, of that, I don't know how many are from Nash and Edgecombe County. Um, got concerns with, you know, when you have an economic downturn, the health of any company. Uh, I don't know if we've got, we're putting anything in any contract that we have about site control or when, if for some reason it falls through, if we have an opportunity to get that land back. Um, because if we lose control of what would happen if they have to um, become liquid and um, and sell that land, do we have any control over that? Um, also, with the the contractor, they've got to meet the low income housing tax credit deadlines. And what impact will the the COVID nineteen have on that with the delays and so forth? Also, um, construction loans they have a, a deadline, and can they meet the deadline? I have a concern with that, um, you know, and again, going with the revenue, this city's going to be stressed for revenue. We need to protect all the money and assets that we have because, you know, just last Thursday, we, um, this council approved for people not to pay their utility bill if they, if they fall under um, financial straits. We also, a lot of businesses, restaurants are closing up because of, um, the emergency orders. A lot of businesses are closing up and we're added today, which means there's no revenue for these businesses, people out of work, and the sales tax revenue for this city will be impacted. Um, I just, I, I just, I'm, I'm not so sure this is the best time to, to be doing this. And I'm all for affordable housing. I think we should have it. I just think that um, I've got concerns with this as, as well as with the contractor being able to. Um, the health of the contractor, I have no clue whether they're uh, in help, uh, healthy business or, or not. But um, back during the 2008 or whenever we had the housing crisis, a lot of strong companies went bankrupt. City Manager, you mind uh, maybe answering that? And then if I also recall, uh, we were going to interview, or you were, you were going through the process of interviewing several companies, and maybe a little overview on that would be helpful as well, if you don't mind. Certainly. Uh, well, I would just say that uh, in spite of the uh, coronavirus, uh, the needs of this city will continue. And uh, the next step in this process is to develop a MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, uh, with the developer to address many of the things that you have uh, spoken about. So um, I have um, really no concerns to recommend to you that would stop this project from going forward. I think we can proceed with developing the MOU, uh, which would include whether or not the land would be leased, which of course would be the best position for the city to be in, uh, or if it's a sale. But again, until you have someone that you can sit down and talk to and negotiate these things with, then the project comes um, to a halt. In terms of the funding for the project, you're correct. The uh, LIHTC tax credits uh, is a major part of this project, and uh, certainly that was one of the things that we evaluated. It was a very strong criteria. And this is a firm that has use LIHTC um, tax credit projects um, for very strong performance in that respect. So uh, again, uh, I would uh, continue to recommend to the council that we move forward with the selection of the uh, Walter Cooper Group. I would also add that you might recall uh, at your last discussion of this, uh, there was con some, some concerns about the Walter Group and council member Walker and I uh, did meet or talk with uh, the firm and aired out all of those issues. 
So we're ready to, to proceed with um, the recommendation, which is to uh, now sit down um, with Walter Cooper and uh, develop a MOU that we would bring back to the City Council for your consideration. Mr. Mayor, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. I also think we have to be careful not to create the uh, perspective that Rocky Mountain is not open for business. We are open for business. Uh, we fare better than most communities as far as infrastructure is concerned. Uh, we have a history of strength in the financial sector and our downtown is working and this is another reason to move forward. I think you spoke about job creation. This creates jobs, employs people. Capital markets are at the lowest as far as loans are concerned. So now is the time to borrow money if you're in business. And there's all, there are all kinds of incentives rolling downhill from the federal government uh, to state government to local government. What a wonderful opportunity it is to show everybody that we're in a growth mode and we need to continue to do that. So I support this. I have full confidence in our legal team and our finance team and our housing team that's working together um, as professionals as they always have been. I don't think of any project that we've ever defaulted on at any time in the last 20 years. And uh, we need people downtown. And we need opportunity for uh, working folk to be able to live downtown as well. So I'm excited about it, and I fully support it. I do hope we move forward. And as the city manager stated, you know, we'll have a chance to look at that MOU that might have some of that detail. <coughs> so I'd like to make a motion that we approve. Oh, we already have a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, just, we're, at, we're having a discussion. So. Sorry, but I apologize. I just, is there any other comment or question related to the matter? I do. I support uh, the development of the workforce housing. Uh, we have had studies to show that we, uh, the city of Rocky Mountain, need more housing, especially affordable housing. Also, we have a lot of economic development that's happening in the Twin Counties area. I see Mr. Norris uh, sitting out in the gallery and hopefully he's going to bring some more good news to us. So we want to continue this upward movement and show uh, people in eastern North Carolina and all of North Carolina that Rocky Mount is open for business and we're still competing for business. And even in WV Prayer, uh, we don't know what the unknown is, but we pray that our Father will have mercy upon us and spare us and keep us in his uh, good care and bless this city and bless us financially which he has done uh, for the last uh, over 100 years. And so we're looking for uh, prosperity. That's what I'm looking for in a healthy community. Thank you. Is there any additional commentary or questions? Being none, um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Aye. Okay, carries. Uh, brings us to item 15 is really a reminder component where we have several appointments or vacancies that uh, need to be filled. If anybody has a, uh, an appointment, this would be a time to mention a name. All right, being none, we'll move on to item 16, which is a closed session for economic development. So I'll have to ask everybody to part uh, uh, the chambers, the exception of the Gateways Partnership Partners. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a motion to go into special care? So moved. Uh, uh, first by Black Knight, second by Black Will. All in favor by saying aye. Any opposed, like sign.